Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Here we are on our last day, full day in Chicago. Yep, yep. And where do we come? We come to Wrigley Field. Yeah, there it is. If, we, if baseball was playing, we would have seen the Mets game today. It was at 120. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's a short, what, four and a half miles from downtown to Something here. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so we just took a lift ride, mm -hmm. and we had to come check it out. We have to. It yeah. is, like, we came around the corner, and we saw the, the marquee right here, and it was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, really unfortunately, cool. no uh, stadium tours today. Unfortunately, but yeah. we're gonna look around in this area to see what's going on. Okay. Let's go. This is really cool. The stadium is on the left side of me, and there's seats on the right side on the roofs. On the apartments, huh? Cool. On the houses? What's that supposed to be? It's art. Look it up. Made it to our first lunch spot. Yep. Pequod's. Yeah, lots of recommendations lots for this place. So we hear you, so here we are. Yep. Right? We're going to go order a pizza. Right now it's only takeout. Um, oh, yeah. Delivery. No dine in yet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to order one to go. Yes. I can't wait. Let's try it. We got a Pequod's lunch special, uh, sort of kind of special. Their special is really only for cheese pizza, but we added some toppings to it. We got a pepperoni and the yummy sausage they have here. You can see the difference in the crust. Oh yeah, this is cheese layered up. Cheese layered up, look uh -huh. at that. It's those little burnt edges are, you know, the amazing cheese. Look at that bread, that crust is, looks just awesome. And we're just eating across the street from Pequod's, yeah, which right is over over there. Only takeout right now. Right. <laughs> look, at that, <laughs> look at that cheese, that cheese pull. So you can tell this crust is really thin. It's super, it was super easy to cut. When you order to go, they don't cut it for you because they want to keep the quality of the pizza. Unless you okay. ask, Unless which you we ask. forgot. Yeah, but that's okay. It was super easy to cut. This crust. Really good crust. Pepperoni, not too spicy at all. The cheese is perfect. Mm. I can't wait for these places to become dining again. Kind of hard to eat on the go, but this one is worth it. Here's a shot of the the bottom side. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it looks like. It looks good. It's nice and very nice and cooked. Yep, and you definitely see how razor sharp that cheese edge is. There you go. Oh, very good. The sauce is not really. Mm, right? There you go, babe. Not super tangy. Cheese is good. Great taste on the pepperoni and sausage. I'm gonna try this little crust out. That crunch. I love that little cheesy edge to it. Might be just a bit heavy on the sauce, but it's okay because it's just a lot of breading and cheese. That crust right there. cheese crust. Really good. As I'm eating it more and more, the sausage is a little bit spicy. It is. But it's really good. This against Luminaldi's. Mmm. Let me finish my piece first and I'll, I'll give you my decision. Oh yeah, this is going to be a hard choice here because they definitely don't skimp out on the pepperonis. Look how many layers of pepperoni there are right there with all the, uh, I think this is spicy Italian sausage. Pequods. Oh, very good. That wraps up our deep dish yeah, Chicago tour. I am deep dish pizza out. Yeah, we went to the, from what we heard, the top three places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, ranking. 
it, okay. don't forget to include Geo Donalds from Las yeah. Vegas. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, for me, Gino Z's is still the bottom of the four. Oh. And then, sorry guys. Geo Donalds is very good. The only reason why uh, Gino Z's, at least the one that we went to, the, the crust was soggy. And normally on a pizza, we, I like a, a little bit crispier crust. Mm -hmm. So, but the toppings were amazing on that. That was really good. Uh, the next one, again, is Joe Donald's. Very good. Um, very good crust, very good cheese on that one. Um, it was just a really good pizza. Then the next one out of the top two, because the le one that's left is Luminaldi's and Pequod's. Number two for me is Luminaldi's. <laughs> I like Pequod's. The crust was there. I like the buttery crust at Luminati's though, but after a while, the cheese got really hard and it was kind of just kind of rubbery to eat, but it was an excellent, excellent topping, excellent cheese pizza. This one throughout the pizza, I don't know if it's because we had a little smaller pizza, but this pizza here at Pequod's, the, the crust was really good. The cheese was very consistent, didn't become rubbery at all the toppings were perfect and it's it's that cheese it's that cheese wall that you have in the back of the crust that crunchy part anything with crunch is better it is so good your turn baby that was quite the review thank you i don't know if they want to sit through another five minute review <laughs> hey well, watch it i just gave it to you cliff mill version luminales number one okay <gasps> number one yeah okay Giordano's number two. Really? Pequod's three. And unfortunately, Gino East number four. Really? And uh, if you watch all of our, a lot of my taste tests, you, you you know the reason why I picked that order. Okay. So wow. yeah. Wow, wow, Pequod's number Loose. three? Yeah, you know why? For me personally, it was a bit too spicy oh. and a bit too sauced up over here. Mm. The, um, the tomato yeah. sauce is a little bit more heavy. Right. I like that. I'm a big veggie person, so I like the little bit heavier tomato sauce, even though the Luminati tomato sauce, very, very good. Yeah. It was more light, but I like the little bit heavier. Yeah, so lose, you got my number one spot. Wow. Yeah. And I'm glad Giordano's is number two because we could get that at Vegas anytime yeah, we want. Yeah, we can. All right, so now I'm glad we split this really small mini pizza yeah. because we have lunch number two plans yeah. ready mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. We made it to Al's, Al's. Beef. Mm -hmm. We did. We were going to do a Italian beef yes. sandwich shootout yes, between here and Patillo's. And it said it was open on the Yelp, but mm. it is closed. This no. one isn't open at all. So we'll see. I don't think there's any other ones close to us. Huh? No, I don't think so. So yeah. we missed Al's on we this did. trip. Mm -hmm. We were looking forward for, uh, for the shootout. Yeah, we were. Yeah. But, but down the block. Yeah, is. exactly. A block away is Portillo's, yeah, the right. one we shot on, on day one. Yes. All right? Yeah, and that's we're where we're going to go. Heading there now. We made it. So you place your order inside and they'll have it ready to go. Yeah, so we're waiting for our order. It's pretty cool in here. Yeah, there's so much so things going there. on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got our to go and mm -hmm. just right across the street is that McDonald's and they have an outdoor seating area. Yeah, so. so we're sitting outside. Yeah. What did uh, we get? We got, this is their, what's that business? Chicago dog. Chicago, Chicago dog with yep. sweet peppers. Well, no, this is regular. Sweet peppers is on the Italian beef. Oh, I'm getting all quenches. It's a regular okay. Chicago dog. Chicago dog. Of yep. course, there's no ketchup on this dog. No. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch to the back camera. Okay, babe. There you go. Chicago dog. Poppy seed bun. Has your mustard in there. Has a relish. Has onions sliced tomato and there's the pepper and the big pickle and a big old pickle i don't know if this pepper is hot let's try this pepper eat, oh, it, yeah. eat it by design babe it's hot okay mm. 
even though the pepper is hot, you gotta eat it with the dog. It's really good. The dog has a really nice crunch snap to it. The pickle, it's not very sour at all. This is a really good dog. Everything matches really well with each other. I get this again. The bun is nice and fresh. This is actually a really good dog. I don't miss the ketchup at all. It's really good. My turn for the other half of the dog here. This is gonna be a big bite. It's got a lot of veggies in here. Mm. Very fresh. The snap of the pickle along with the hot dog. It's really good. And you're not uh, even a pickly person. No. I've had a Chicago dog from Wiener Schnitzel back in Los Angeles, but that was a few years ago. This doesn't really compare to that one. This this is where it's at right here. It's really good. If you ever come to Chicago, I definitely recommend trying out a Chicago dog. Probably from anywhere. I'm sure they're all good, but especially this one here from Bertillo's, recommended by us. Unwrapping the Italian beef. Yep, we had it dipped twice, double dipped. Whichever way, it costs extra, 60 yeah. cents extra, with sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. It's majorly wrapped. Yeah. Well, it didn't leak through the paper, which is nice. There That's it, is. it right there. That's a big pepper. It is. This is very, very moist. You could just tell the extra dip that it took on. Look at that. Almost to the point where it's it's a little bit soggy on the bread. But that's per design right there. Here we go. It's really hot in temperature too. Mmm. I don't think I've ever had anything like this one before. The meat is flavorful. The tail's been marinating in whatever Italian beef juice. The bread is nice and soft, especially because it's been dipped. Peppers are not hot at all. It gives that nice sweet pepper taste to it. They did not cheap out on the meat. Lots of meat. This is super good here. I, I wish we had a beer with this. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I don't know if I can bite this. You can. It's humongous. You can. You guys want to bite? There you go. Here we go. Our bread just really melts in your mouth. The meat is finely shaven. You can tell it's been marinating for a while. Very tasty. Not salty at all. The marinade isn't salty at all. Very easy to eat. This goes down way too easy. Oh, really good. Hey, we did have some beer. Root beer. We have some root beer. Mm -hmm. Another recommendation from other people is the chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. So we have to try it. Oh, it's nice and moist. There we go. Nice and heated from the sun. Oh, yeah. Oh, that chocolate cake is really good. It's super moist. Sweet like a chocolate cake, but not too sweet. Mm. That's a good chocolate cake. Mm. Mm. It's good. Very moist. There's a little bit of the frosting. Mm. Mm. 
I usually don't like a lot of frosting, but this is it matches really well. It's not it's not like super sweet. Right. It's a good chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very easy good. to eat. Perfect dessert. It is. That was a pretty good meal from Portillo's. That was really good. Now we we do have a Portillo's in uh, Buena Park, Buena Park mm -hmm. in California. I'm gonna kind of compare it and see how that one is compared to the OG. Oh, right. Yeah. As you saw inside, they've been in business here since 1952 or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, we want to thank uh, uh, say hi to Matthew yeah. because he had the Chicago dog and the, and the Italian beef. Yeah. And they're both right on, right on point. They are. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's right. Yep. You're right. <laughs> So uh, I'm kind of glad that Al's was closed because I'm We're full. full. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to compare, especially when you're full. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll try Al's next time. Yep. What we're gonna do now? Walk around a bit. Yeah. Walk we'll, off this food. We're gonna definitely walk around. Yeah. And it's pretty warm today. I think it's gonna be like 90 or 95 today. Yeah. So, but the shade is super cool, and I don't think I think the humidity is low today. So we are, we uh, ran into some luck because I hear the humidity usually is really high. So let's go walk I, around. Bedroom. I can't tell the difference from yesterday, but oh, it's still sorry. hot. It's still warm. yourself in downtown the loop there's one right here so it's if you're ever place. visiting yeah chicago and you want to try it there's one here yeah, try it. we're gonna do a architectural book tour mm -hmm. we're doing the last tour for this company it's 645 and it's only about 6 30 right now yeah it's about 20, about 20 bucks each and during the week they have a deal half price yeah this is the half price offer this is the half price offer so we have to hurry up and get yeah, it let's go Look at that. This is what we're on right now. Yeah. Four and a half stars. Not bad. So that was a fun tour. It was. Yeah, it's definitely worth the 20 bucks. Uh, it is. If you're ever down here in Chicago, check out that sightseeing. Yeah. Company. And we came kind of at dusk, which is really cool. It was the things just like illuminated it was really cool yeah and uh for reference the apple store is right behind us it's yeah. brand new mm -hmm. i think it, the guy said opened in 2017. 2017 so right around the apple store are there's uh, some stairs that come down and uh, that's where you catch the tour there's ticket booths on top and then there's ticket booths also on the yeah. bottom so just find the apple store mm -hmm. in downtown the loop and that's where the tour is yeah it's along uh, the river walk yeah it's dinner time dinner time Drinks in Chicago. Cheers, babe. Guinness? Yeah, Guinness for me. And I got a Fuller Ale. This is the one we had when we were in London in February. Nice. Okay. We're trying out the ale at the Hen Soup. You can smell the cheesiness of it. It's like a French we, onion soup. Yep, and we love onion soup, especially French onion soup. Soaked in this broth and with the cheese mixture, it's a perfect onion soup. This is the deluxe burger with Guinness barbecue sauce and bacon. I got the stuffed Yorkshire pudding. Here's my Yorkshire pudding right here my roast beef, my mashed potatoes, and veggies, and it's covered in a good, rich beef gravy. Wow, looks good. It does. And what kind of sauce is this? I don't know. Horseradish. Creamy horseradish sauce. It's good. 
There we go. I got some Yorkshire pudding here along with my roast beef. Let's try it in this here. Beef, it's very good, very tender. There's Yorkshire pudding. It's very light and airy. Let's try a little bit of mash. Sorry, not a creamy mashed potatoes, very chunky mashed potatoes. Really good, it looks dry, but it's actually really good. Light hint of garlic in it. And I love me some green beans. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Really good. So again, this is the deluxe burger. There we go. Look at that. With the Guinness barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato, fresh onions. Wow. And they ask you what temperature you want to cook. I say medium well. Mm. How's it, babe? Tastes like flame boiled burger. <laughs> very meaty. The barbecue sauce, very light. It's not like a heavy, sweet barbecue sauce. It gives you just enough of that barbecue taste that matches perfectly with the bacon. And the bacon's super crispy because it's a piece of it fell off. Mm -hmm. That was a really good dinner, babe. It was. Uh, the ele Elephant and Castle uh, yeah. recommended. Recommended. Uh, wabash and Wabash? 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 Yeah. Is that how you put it? And what's the street are we on? Michigan? No. And Lake. Bash and Lake. They, they can look it up. Yeah, and their hours are different actually on the on Yelp. They said it closed at 7 30, but they're actually closed at 11. Yeah. The last patio city is at 10 30. A lot of a lot of times for these all eaters here mostly close at 9. Yeah. But that's all subject to change. That's yeah. of today. Yeah, so, and we're hearing like this weekend, or today is our last day, but this weekend a lot of other things are changing by July before the end of June. A lot of things are opening. So we definitely gotta come back, huh, baby? We will. Yeah, yeah. With a lot of other things are opening. There are a lot of places that we didn't catch. A lot, of because, course. Because they're not open or they're only subject to takeout. Um, or oh, we got too full. <laughs> and we got too full, either way. So we yeah. gotta come back and visit this beautiful city. Yeah, definitely. so that wraps up our yeah. entire Chicago trip. Yep. We had a great time. Great time. Thank Ate you for all food. Thank you for all the recommendations. Yes. Um, footnote, Garrett's, none of them were open. So no. we couldn't get the Chicago mix. So that's why also a next visit we have to come back and get yeah. that Garrett's. They're Chicago all temporarily mix. closed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta come back baby when the everything else is open back yeah. up. And so hopefully you uh be be able to see all three of these Chicago series. Uh -huh. I think three. <laughs> we'll see. Or yeah. I told him to try to squish it into to only two. Yeah. So we already released one. So we'll see. So. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.